Technologies Private Limited. My name is Ashwin Dutta and today we are going to discuss about analog multimeter and its order code is 2223-6220.3.8N. So in this video we are going to discuss about the working of this analog multimeter. So this is the analog multimeter and this is the operation instruction manual which is provided along with this multimeter and these are the probes which are provided along with this multimeter and here in this box we also provide this 9 volt battery and two AAA battery cells so which are to be connected here so you need to unscrew this you need to unscrew this and then you need to pull it in this direction and then you need to place the 9 volt battery and the two AAA battery cells then we need to connect these probes so firstly you need to remove this covers and now we will connect the probes so for measuring the current in ampere range so here we can measure the DC current up to 10 ampere so when you are measuring the current in ampere range you need to connect this red probe here and the common port is this one so this is the common port and now if you want to measure voltage, milliampere current, resistance, then you need to connect here. So this is the resistance adjustment port. So by using this port, you can adjust it to zero. So I will show you when we will measure the resistance. And this is the off state. And from here, we can take the DC voltage. So these are the DC voltage range. This is the AC voltage range. This is the resistance range this is the battery range and on the resistance we are having the continuity also then this is the DC milliampere range so now let me show you how we can measure the resistance so for that firstly we need to connect the probes like this we need to connect the black probe to the common and we need to connect this red probe to the positive terminal and now firstly as it is mentioned in the manual also so you need to follow the instructions which are given in the manual so for every measurement you need to follow the instructions that are given in the manual so now firstly we need to connect these two probes like this so Firstly, we will keep the pointer at resistance. So, we will keep it at 1K. And now, we will short these two terminals like this. So, when you will short these two terminals, you will see the pointer should point at 0. And if it is not so, then you need to adjust by using this adjusting knob. So, by using this adjusting knob, you need to keep the pointer at 0. So this port is given for adjusting the resistance value at 0 and now here I have taken a 2k2 resistance so we will measure it so we need to connect it like this and here you can see it is giving 2 and now as we have kept it here at 1k so we need to multiply that value with 1k so it is 2k2. So that is how you can take the resistance measurement and now we will take the measurement of AC voltage. So we will keep it at 250 and now we will connect these two terminals in the AC supply of single phase. So now we will measure the AC voltage. So for that I am using this extension board and here we are getting a single phase AC supply of 250 volt. So for that firstly we will keep this selector switch at 250 and now 
we will connect the leads here so here you can see that the deflection is 250 so you need to insert the probes accurately to get the proper reading and here you can see we are getting 250 up to 250 AC voltage so that is how you can measure all the parameters that are given in this analog multimeter so that's all the demonstration from my side if you have any query regarding this analog multimeter you can contact our tesca global website you can find the link in the description for more information go through the manual thank you for watching this video if you like this video like share and subscribe to our channel